Atlas arrived around the beginning of the school year for us. Uh, I can tell you that many of us planned our vacations around uh, the expected arrival date, and it, it, uh, luckily I wasn't uh, out of town when it arrived. We have a great team that comes from all over MIT. We have people from EECS, which is my home department. We have people from mechanical engineering. We have people from aeronautics and astronautics. We have faculty, we have research staff, we have postdocs, we have graduate students, we have master students, we have undergrads. Our robot's name is Helios. In simulation, when the robot fell over, stopped working or something broke, it was all very easy. We just shut it back down, restarted things, and everything was, was straightforward. With this 300-pound robot, things are very different. When it swings its arm violently, you better not be standing near it, so it's, it's a whole different ballgame. We had to think a lot about robustness issues for the robot, for the control system. We did a lot of interesting dynamics and control work to make the simulator work well. There have been a few differences, although I've been happy with how few the differences have been. The thing that probably keeps most of us up at night is reliability. So we're able to do a lot of these tasks um, to our satisfaction in the laboratory, um, but we're not doing these tests outdoors in Miami right now. We have to pick up this whole operation and put it in a truck, take it to Florida, unpack it, and put it all back together again without breaking anything. And as you can imagine, there are just hundreds of pieces to what we're doing here. We have some of the best students in the world helping us with the project. We are in it to win it. We're very confident in our approach. And we think that at the end of 2014, when the competition happens for real, we're going to do very well.